This question is from February, March 2017, paper 22, question 4. State what is meant by the Doppler effect. Is the change of frequency due to the relative motion between an observer and a sound source? Here is an example. A child sits on a rotating horizontal platform in a playground. The child moves with a constant speed along a circular path as illustrated in figure 4.1. An observer is standing a long distance away from the child. During one particular revolution, the child moving at the speed of 7.5 meters per second starts blowing a whistle at point P and stops blowing at point Q on this circular path. The whistle emits sound of frequency 950 hertz. The speed of the sound in the air is 330 meters per second. The question is, to determine the maximum frequency of the sound heard by the distance observer. First, we need to understand how this arrow behaves from point P to point Q. At middle way between both points P and Q, let's say the child is right here. So, the speed of this circular path is the same, but the direction has changed. And point Q, the direction go to the left. And here, go down. So, that is the direction of the speed on a circular motion. What this got to do with our problem? A lot. The observer is going to hear a higher frequency when the velocity is toward the observer and a lower frequency when the velocity is away from the observer. The question is asking the maximum frequency, which is going to happen right here. The Doppler effect formula relates the frequency of the observer, the frequency of the sound source, the speed of sound in the air, and the speed of the sound source. The only thing that is missing in this formula is the plus or minus sign uh, for the speed of the sound source. To produce a maximum frequency, the sound source must be moving toward the observer. In this case, it's not moving. is not moving toward the observer, is pointing to the direction of the observer. So in this case here, that will be the maximum frequency, and that frequency will be observed higher than emitted by the sound source. To, for this happen mathematically, so the sign be used here is minus. Our substitution. So the frequency of the sound source is 950. And we are expecting here as a prediction this frequency will be higher than 950. And uh, the speed of the sound in the air was provided 330. 330 again is the speed of sound in the air minus the speed of the sound source, which is 7.5. So to solve this is 330 minus 7.5. I'm going to do inverse here, times 330, and the result of this times 950. So,
So here we have 972 hertz, which is higher than 950. So this is due to the Doppler effect. The next question, describe the variation in the frequency of the sound heard by the distant observer. Okay, so you know the maximum frequency here. Maximum frequency is 972 hertz. But what will be the minimum frequency? To calculate that, we are going to use the same formula. But instead of minus, will be plus. So that will be same values. 330 over 330 plus 7.5. So the way that I do is I add those two first plus 7.5. The result, because it's on the denominator, so I move it to the numerator by inverting here. And uh, now times 330 and times 950, so 928, so I rounded to 929. Okay, so this is 929. So definitely there is a variation of frequency from the minimum to the maximum value. So when the arrow is toward the observer, the observer is going to hear a maximum frequency when the arrow is away from the observer is going to hear the minimum frequency the way that we can explain this is the frequency changes from 929 which is the minimum value to 972 which is the maximum value as the relative motion between the sound source changes between the sound source and observer changes 